Really? Uh-huh. Well, you know what? I'm just gonna have to stop you right there. It's okay, you don't have to continue talking. It's just, that's not what I'm looking for in a girl. And, uh, you know what? I, I appreciate the help, but I think I'm just gonna go with online dating or just anything better than this. Yeah, thanks a lot for your help, but no. Hey guys, and welcome back to Out of This World Reviews, where the reviews are truly mind-bogglingly outrageous. Today we take a look at what some would say is a pretty good platformer in the form of banjo kalele But boy, are those people just so wrong! Rare have really sunk to a new low after this one. So take a seat, grab your popcorn, and have a real treat with my banjo kalele review. Wow, I gotta tell you about the extremely crappy graphics. When it came out back in 2008, the graphics may have looked good for back then, but definitely not now. In this game, you take control of Alf, trying to run away from a big smelly green man. You've got also a giant smartass stork coming out of your backpack, and you can't flip the freaking bird the finger. Why not? Also, why the heck did Rare choose a giant smelly bear and annoying bird to play as? It should have been something like way more cooler. Maybe a fire-breathing dragon? Or hey, how's about an iguana and a bat? Now there's a real idea for you. Also, when you talk to other characters, their speech, but you can't understand what they say. It's just gibberish. So the game forces you to read, which is very tedious. What if I can't read Rare? Are you gonna discriminate against me? How dare you do that to your fan base? If I had wanted to read, I would have picked up a book. And you know what? Books are so old school. Throughout the game, you travel to different worlds that are basically copy and pasted from other unoriginal games like Mario 64. There's a snow level, the mummy level, and a Pirates of the Caribbean level. But instead of getting bombed with Captain Jack, you run into a crybaby hippo. Jack Sparrow would be very unimpressed at this. At least there's some good belching contests, right? Oh, and you also get to swim around with Jaws as well. I guess that's a bit of a treat. Yeah, thanks for that. I just kind of lost my appetite from that. You know, I'm kind of tired right now, to be honest. If you could please stop. I just, you know, went through this dungeon and there were all these enemies, so... If you could just, like, stop with the grossness, that'd be, that'd be really great, thanks. Anyways, you take Ratchet and Clank here all across the game world, and it's like a marathon. Constantly running around. I don't need exercise rare, I'm playing a video game. And I play video games to keep away from boring real-world things. Not only that, but when they leave honeycombs everywhere, what if I'm a diabetic, Rare? Ever think of that? That's very insensitive on your part. You should be promoting healthier types of collectibles in your games. How's about some grum birthday party skulls thrown around, huh? In the game, you can get Mumble Jumble to turn you into animals and things, but nothing really cool. What the heck am I supposed to do with a pumpkin, huh? Go trick-or-treating around Mad Monster Mansion? Transform me into, like, a chainsaw and I'll do some serious damage that way. Hmm. You know, for some reason, I'm craving pumpkin pie right now. Isn't that the oddest thing? Mmm, delicious pie. Ow. 
Also, in the game there's cheats, but you can't use them. Talk about bad game design and empty promises rare. Leaving us with an unfinished game, how could you? How am I supposed to get big head mode, huh? Be like the rest of the current gen devs and patch that stuff up. Now what's with the lack of multiplayer? No team deathmatch? How's about capture the jiggy? Or domination featuring Jinjos? Leaving out multiplayer is kind of a super serious big deal. Way to have some foresight, Rare. So, in conclusion, I give Yuka Kazooie a 10 out of 10. Zillion. Definitely the most disappointing game I've gazed my eyes on. Thank you for giving us GoldenEye 2, Rare. Oh yeah, you didn't. Well, thanks for tuning in, all you cool cats. Now hit that sub button for more dope-ass, super accurate reviews. And if you don't, I'll be sure to leave a world of hurt with these blazing steel guns I have. Peace out, homies. Alright, now time to go chill with UK Dazarus and knock back a few brewskis. Knock, knock, knock. Hey Daz, open up! Come on, open up, it's your buddy from Canada, Invader here. Hello? Well, fine then. First round's on you. And I get to pick the beer. Come on, buddy, open up!